17 all as it's Slegel to serve. Collins works over. Left hand spike, nothing there. Here's Hansen. It's definitely tough to play back to backs, especially against this conference. This is a loaded Big Ten. Best team, unanimous first team pick to win the Big Ten was Wisconsin, and they're number one overall. As, wow, block sent right back. Riley Hinton are not supposed to play each other in this year's schedule. Certainly makes for a, a difficult pose for, for Iowa. You're not going to play the team that's supposed to be right behind you. Here's the serve. Ortega over to Bezzario. Drops one over. It's right back to her. Big run for Illinois. Looney had 17 kills yesterday on 37 tries. Holtzman had 12 with a pair of blocks. Brown sets up Cooney. There's Ortega, goes to Bezzario, blocked at the net. Collins and Cooney on that far side, shuffle over, get the block. Illinois, a 1-0 set lead. As we wind down the second set. Bezzario, her try, swatted, a block. Cooney and Hinton on that far side. Hanson to serve. Brown runs over. Sets up for Terry. Boyer with the dig. Here's Ortega to Schmidt. Big dig by Cooper. Sat there waiting the whole time. There's Terry. A diving stop, Ortega. Boyer as Schmidt launches. Big save for Iowa. Brown down the middle. Blocked right back to her. Terry hits long, but Hanson there to save. Another deflection. That's a block. It's Terry and Collins with the block. Olsman back to Sir. There's Blythe Thrain stuffed. Always a strong program. Bruder for the Illini. It's a Chivita on the slide, and Recky is blocked. You know, passing was, the pass was decent for, for how tough the serve. Barnes sends it to Robinson, a touch by the Illini. Good swing by Cooney, nearly ate up Kraft. Instead, she'll try to tip. The Illini are right there. And Taylor Cooper will serve it up for Illinois. To change the pace, to change it up, and this is what I loved for coaches to do. I love all high school coaches, club coaches, to change things because you have the ability. After Cooney and Hinton get involved and stuffed, just a quiet performance for the senior from Topeka, Kansas, but really playing well. Recky denied by Cooney, who was paired with Hinton on the block there, and they get it done again. The two of them out there, they do a nice job together. The ball's alive here, being really patient, and you can really see them press it. Stop it right in that motion and see how high her arm is. It's great. Hilly pulls that one in, punched over by Hart. Micah Allison on the right side. Terry, Allison over. Hilly across to Loberg. Cooper did the splits and we're still playing. Loberg again, stuffed. Allison, sneaky on the block. That's right. The Illini there, and this is what you want. Here's your rewards, right? For all your... Back set that time to Parker. Guess who was waiting? Riley Hinton. So player of the week. Look at this move. I mean, this beautiful swing block. Stay square to the net. Villanova got caught coming off the line. He just got burned there on the sideline. And I love how Illinois went right back at Terry for that play. The Illini are rolling here in set number two. Another fantastic block move by Illinois. Getting all. I can see how you call it. right up against the block and that's town for Illinois. Penn State running the slide tonight. 
She'll serve here for the Illini. Kudryashova receives. Over to Arthur who sets. Parker on the right side. Looking for the kill. And it's 15-10. Right side serve from Bruder. Float serve received by Pete. Set Arthur. Right side attack from Johnny Parker. But a nice block back there by the Illini. That's going to make it a six point set. 16-10. She'll serve from the right side. Penn State leads by three. Float serve, Linovic. Receives that one, poked over, Gray going for an attack right there, but Kennedy Collins sends it back for the Illini. On that digs it out. Block up front by Illinois Combo. Soft touch return back by Illinois. Tip and she hangs just a little bit longer to reach. And another serve coming from Raina Terry. Tack blocked up front by the Illini. Clawed their way back and now have set point for themselves. And now it's Ohio State's turn to take a timeout. Blocked up front, and Illinois ties it up at one. But really reaching, pressing forward, finishing them. Pedraza tried to do that quite a bit yesterday. Oh, big block, Illinois. Second set. And that's, you know, part of being a go-to. Gonzalez has a great night last night. Raza to Gonzalez, blocked up front by Swanson, and Illinois will get it back. A little bit of mis min miscommunication on that, that last set, so Kyla Swanson kind of gave it. Dana Retke for Wisconsin, Reagan Pittman for Minnesota. We asked John Cook what makes Lauren Stivrin's brand unique in terms of what she brings to the position. Cubic with a big swing for Nebraska, and it's her speed that really sets her apart and makes her especially lethal at the middle blocker position. Another great point early in this first set. Akana on the dig, up to Sun. She is denied. Oh. Illinois ties it back up. A lot of really nice pieces that they've been trying to work on and get, get connections, get it together, and really find, find their stride here. But they have some athletic and highly talented players. A lot of different perfection there. You're certainly right. Look at this block. What's the farthest you had to run to track down a ball in your days at Penn State? Uh, far, far. Past the practice, bench? it was four courts away. <laughs> Cubic blocked again. It's Riley Hinton, number two, and Emily Hollowell, the senior, number 14, on the pin. You've got Hollowell over there. Big block on the right side. Closing. It's just something that the other team's defense now has to worry about. And it adds a little bit of a wrinkle. Served by Bruder. Hames over to Sun. Blocks. Actually, it may have only been the net. Hard to tell from my angle, but obviously the block was in position and did its job. To set herself up for a big success. Taylor Cooper, the serve. Hames. Stiverins blocked. Stiverins couldn't keep it alive in the net there. And we're tied at 21. Probably fun to be be a fan of a school right now because you've got stuff going on mm -hmm. every single hour of every single day it seems like jazz sweet with that attack kept alive sweet will bump it over free ball for the Illini hinted had it blocked back round back row attack from Cooney nice dig by knuckles long back set by Haynes there now Hames and Caffey couldn't get it over. Clearly has very good vision for an outside hitter. Um, and, and that's the reason she's leading the team in kills. Reagan Pittman, strong swing. Kilkelly holds on. Here's a Donna Rollins, but Illinois has got the early lead. Um, but she's really come out strong here. Yeah, certainly. I mean, the Gophers need Adana to play well if they if they really want to you know, continue to be strong. And um, they need her presence both in the front row and in the back row. 
You'll see here both blockers up nice. And Megan Kuhn. Terry strong serve. Landfair tries to smack it down at the net. Now it'll be right back to Taylor Landfair, but she's blocked by Hinton. Half, I, I think, believes that Brown was back row and, and did a back row attack into Landfair as a block. Cooney on the serve, powerful serve. Landfair soft swing. Eski with a great dig. Stephanie Samity from the back row, dug out by Cooper. Landfair again blocked at the net. Front. Illinois is certainly earning these points by playing really strong defense and forcing the Gophers to make. Dig back over to the Maryland side. Chuck from Gardner blocked up front. Cooper has to get it over on the third touch. Tech from Lewis blocked by Collins and a point for Illinois. Terry serving for the Illini. Terry with another hit, but Maryland's attempting to return it back. A nice tip by Riley Hinton. There's plenty of time here. You can see that ball goes kind of back up before it comes back down. She has put her stamp on this season in a way that would be hard to go against. 2-1 Illinois, set three. Illinois up in sets. The Hoosiers have it. They'll go to Stockham on the outside. Big roof! Brown and Hinton access denied. Point Illinois. before ultimately choosing Indiana over Wisconsin of all schools. Of course, the Badgers having a great season here in 2021. Set up for Blackwell, kept alive, but too many touches for Indiana, and it goes right back to Illinois. Blocker there, she just stayed one-on-one -on -one with the hitter. As, as a hitter, when you're one-on-one, -on -one, you want to try to score. Up until late in her recruitment, before deciding to come play at Indiana, Passing has been something that she's really improved on significantly over the course of the season, but just in general with nine freshmen, Steve Ayers said, look, there's a lot of holes. I know they've been somewhat frustrated of not being able to play every weekend. They're off this weekend again because of COVID, so I know they're going to be pumped to be back in the field house and hopefully clinch that outright on their home floor. Don't get to see Wisconsin and Nebraska. Tonight in Champaign, we're seeing Riley Hinton in the middle. But he said when he came in, he was looking for something to elevate his program to that next level. And he felt like the serve received was the area that maybe needed the most improvement. And my goodness, have they done that in a short amount of time. Stockham blocks. Guess who? Riley Hinton. And Illinois looks to respond here in the second. This is Diana Brown. Cleveland turned away at the net. That's a great start for Illinois. Their block works. But that is such a good serve. Then she drops it short. He was blocked in Illinois with some momentum right now. I don't care who you're up against. This is such a good serve that it's throwing Purdue for a little loop offensively. They don't have an answer because they're becoming one-dimensional one and more predictable. Defensively, she can't set the second ball. Cooney did hit negative last night for Illinois, a testament to Purdue's defense, and Johnson is stuffed in the middle. All right. Decent pass off of that rocket, but that's still Haley Bush on the run, making it look a little bit easier.